Um, I'm wondering with the earnings, were you surprised at all with the stock price reaction going down or was it just kind of expected for you? I was surprised that it had such low volume. It feels like the calm before some type of storm. You know, it used to be the case with Tesla, they'd have some earnings. It would be up like 10% the next day, 10% the day after. And you'd be like, wow, it's like a rocket ship. And I feel like that crazy volatility is not as likely anymore in Tesla. It just seems like it's gotten big enough where maybe there's just not going to be some substantial lifts to the stock on, on some big news or some big thing. You know, were there things about earnings that concerns you, that concerns you at all as an investor? Or I mean, I'm surprised the stock isn't a hundred points higher. So Elon Musk is going to uh, be on Saturday night live. There's been some Saturday night live, you know, comedians, actors that don't like the fact that Elon's mm -hmm. going to be on the show and maybe the stock price might get hit. What do you think? I don't think so. I think it's just kind of noise. These editors at these publications looking for anything clickbait they can. There's been a bunch of kind of discussion in the Tesla community about FUD. What's your take on what's going on? I mean, Elon, he seems pretty clear that he doesn't want a PR department. I just think from a human psychology point of view, as a population, we haven't really adjusted to the, the way news is spread with clickbait headlines yet. Before the call, you were talking about a potential uh, options play that you're considering. Well, this is a, more of like a selling a put option, but a long-term put option. So it's something new to me, getting closer and closer to doing it in my own account as sort of a conservative bullish play. I think I've shown, shown you the, the numbers. On Thursday, the 1,000 strike puts for Tesla that expire in, in June of 2023. So it's over two years from now. So those were trading at around 485, almost $500 a contract, let's say. Okay, so if you sell those, right, then as long as Tesla is above $500 by June of 2023, you make some money. Um, if it's above $1,000, then you collect the whole $500 premium. And based on those calculations, mathematically, the options are stating that there's like a I think it, what was it, 80% chance or, or something that, that Tesla would not be above a thousand dollars. And that just seemed kind of ludicrous to me. Like I was like, man, I think it's more like an 80% chance it will be above a thousand dollars. No, Tesla's grown so much. The stock price has grown so much in the last year or 18 months, 10 X, you know, it's like, but it might double maybe, you know, it might triple best case in my opinion, but I don't think it's go up like five X again or 10 X like it did, you know, state taxes, you know, California, 13%. <laughs> So yeah. 50 something. I think that's going up. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're 16%. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're, they're talking about that. So does that change your, your thinking at all with investing? Yeah, it certainly does. It makes me consider more seriously Puerto Rico, for example, there's a big deal there. I would much rather donate money, which is much more cost effective than give it to the government.